What's good, BitRushers? My name's Kyler, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. In today's video, we're going to be covering Arbitrum, which is a layer two scaling solution for the Ethereum blockchain. I'm going to be going over the project in general, how to bridge over some tokens and some upcoming dApps and NFT projects. We'll also do a few swaps on the Arbitrum network, so if all that sounds good, please do stick around. Make sure you're subbed to the channel. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at D5Brains with the Z. Pound that thumbs up button, and here we go. You can find the website at arbitrum.io, and we can see right here it does say solve scaling without compromise. Next generation layer two for Ethereum dApps. Use your favorite tools and scale your dApp at the lowest cost. And we can see right here, it does give us a couple options. If you guys want, you can explore all the live dApps that are using Arbitrum. We can bridge over to Arbitrum and get some coins over there. And there's a block explorer and just a little bit more information if you want to come over here. And just kind of do yourself a little bit more research on the network. There is a lot of information and everything about the team. And just a lot going on here in general with Arbitrum. Um, there's some bounties, some careers. So definitely a big project, guys. The main thing we're looking for here is to bridge over a little bit of Ethereum so that we can use it for upcoming NFT projects or games, which I do think will be coming here in the near future. There has been a lot of people hinting that there may be an Arbitrum airdrop for people who use the network early, um, for people who have interacted. And so that's what we're going to do today is get on here. There are also some upcoming NFT drops. There have been some past ones. Um, I mentioned the Alvin one, and then there was also a couple more that were mentioned in my Telegram chat group. So there's definitely things being built here over on Arbitrum and hopefully some big things coming. So we want to be a head of the crowd and that's why I'm going to just get in here, um, do a quick bridge. Let's make some swaps and we'll be ready for the future. So if that all sounds good, here we go. So again, we're going to just click on bridge to Arbitrum. And it will open up the bridge.arbitrum.io is the official address there if you guys are looking for that. And we can see right here, it does have how much tokens we have in Ethereum and then the layer two balance. Obviously we don't have any cause we haven't done it yet. I'm going to just bridge over 0.01 right now as a test for the video. If this all works good, you know, maybe in the future I'll send some more, but um, again, guys, when you're doing something for the first time like this, you never want to send a lot. It's just a precautionary measure. You start with a small amount. If everything goes good, then you send your full amount. So this looks good. Let's go ahead and deposit. And you want to read this just to make sure you agree to everything. It says you are about to deposit Ethereum from layer one into Arbitrum. It will take 10 minutes for you to see your balance credited on layer two moving your funds back to layer one Ethereum, if you wish to do so, takes one week. Would you like to proceed? Okay, guys, so that's good news that you can bridge back and forth. Some of these projects that are up and coming and, you know, different things like that only have a one-way bridge onto the network. It is good to see you can bridge back. However, it will take you a week's time. So if you need your coins quickly, um, you're not going to be able to do that. Again, we're just using a small amount as a test, so everything looks good. Let's go ahead and deposit. Okay, just go ahead and confirm this transaction on your MetaMask wallet. And now we'll come back in a second once it loads up. If you want, you can open it up in your MetaMask wallet and view this transaction over on Etherscan. Okay, we can see after a little while coming back and checking that is complete and we now have 0 0.0099, a little bit less than the actual 0.01. Um, so just keep that in mind that you may lose a little bit on the transaction. And just another thing while we're over here, guys, is you can change the token. Okay, so right now I only have a couple tokens in my wallet. But if you wanted, you could also swap over some other tokens here on the ERC20 network. 
So now that we're here on Uniswap, we're gonna need to switch the network on MetaMask. And to do that, we're gonna need to actually add it. So we're gonna come to MetaMask and click these three little drop down menu and click expanded view. This will put it into a browser, which will allow you to then copy and paste much more easily without losing all of the previous information. So from here, we come to the top where you see Ethereum mainnet and we wanna switch to Arbitrum, but we haven't added it yet, so we need a custom RPC. From here, you can see the information you need to fill out. I'll go ahead and leave all of that information in my description below so you guys don't need to search for it. Just copy and paste it in and then click save when you're done. All right, so just looking at the screen right there, all of that information should be correct, so just make sure yours looks something like that. And again, that information will be in the description of the video, so go ahead and just copy and paste it, and you're good to go. You can now see our network is Arbitrum 1, and coming back to MetaMask, we do see Arbitrum 1. You can find things like Uniswap towards the bottom of the list. What we're going to do for today's video is just use one inch exchange. So go ahead and click that and open it up. All right, guys, as you can see that it does say there's temporarily a technical issue with the Arbitrum network. I did try on both one inch exchange and also on Uniswap and both of them are giving me a problem. It is saying the problem is with Arbitrum. So I guess I'm going to finish up this video later. If I'm not able to complete the video within a couple hours here, I'll just upload it as is. And you guys get the point. We can bridge over some assets just like we would on any other layer two or any other network. And once we have our coins on that network, use the dApps like Uniswap and one inch, just like we would on Ethereum mainnet. And we are able to start trading and buying NFTs on the Arbitrum network. So either way, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. I'll either update it or end it here. That's everything for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy the content and learned something along the way. If so, do smash the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified on future videos as soon as they drop. Go ahead and share this thing on social media with any friends or family or anyone else you think may enjoy the content as well. Leave me a comment and let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, or anything you want to see here in the future on the channel. Happy crypto, and let's keep getting those coins.